Hello, in this video we're going to talk about rebar and trussing. Now, in the previous video, videos, you would get to uh, concrete and steel level uh, by using wood or cobblestone or adobe to upgrade. Well, you can go straight to the reinforced concrete and skip the others if you use rebar. So this is what the rebar looks like. You can, it's a, like a frame, like a wood frame or a cobblestone frame, and you can pick it up uh, after you put it down until you upgrade it. So to upgrade it, you right click. All right, rebar has to be made in the forge. And you need an anvil. So it takes iron and clay. So you get clay and iron in your forge and then you can craft your rebar. So as you can see it takes five iron and one clay to make the rebar. So it's by using this method as opposed to upgrading wood for example you will save on your construction costs. You will save uh, turn this off. You will save on iron as well as other materials. Okay, so once it takes uh, wood to upgrade this, um, so this is very fragile basically. It uh, has a strength of 200 as you can see. So then w once you get to this uh, level, you need the concrete mix. And I cover making the concrete mix in my previous videos and in my uh, concrete, uh, cement mixer tutorial. So with the concrete mix in your inventory, you right click and you got the unfinished. Anyway, you gotta wait for that to dry. I was looking for this and I was seeing this and I'm like, that's not right. But this is what it looks like underneath. Okay, so this is the wet version, and when it dries, it will look like this. Okay, so now, how many of these can you make? Well, if you go out like this, that's one, two, three, four, five, and then you put a six one, it seems to be okay. Let's go with seven and it all collapses but only the rebar parts collapsed let's put some more up here four five six right okay so now let's do some upgrading Okay, so far so good. Now, this one, I upgraded this one and it's already dried as you can see. So, can we put this out more? Yes, because that dried concrete holds more weight so you can go further out before it collapses. One, two, three, four, five. So one. I'm gonna I'm gonna count this one as one. One, two, three, four, and let's and I think I can do five. Okay. Now let's upgrade it and see if it collapses. Okay, so it's holding now. Now can we put another one on or will it collapse? It collapsed. So you would have to let it dry perhaps. Okay, so if you really want to span a large gap without collapsing, you want to use trussing. Okay, this is what trusting looks like. 
you make a metal trussing in your forge, you need an anvil, and it takes one of them consumes 40 iron. That's a lot. I think you might get multiple ones. Let's craft. It says one. So five clay and 40 iron. That is a lot of iron for just one block. That seems excessive. Maybe that's an error and they will change that in the future. I don't know. But that is an awful lot. But if you really need to span those long gaps, you want to use trussing. Now trussing, metal trussing has a mass load of 320. The rebar has a max load of 25. Some regular old concrete has a max load of 90. So you can see the metal trussing can hold a lot. Now as far as beating on it, it's only a thousand and it only has you know when when it's down to zero it's gone there's nothing underneath to um, be there when it when it's broken through so if you want to do metal trussing two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve you can see how strong it is 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's, it, it will hold, it won't hold 16th, but you can do 15 up there without having a support on the other end. As you can see, look at that. So, um, Go ahead and upgrade this. All right. So you can see it is a very um, uh, it's very good for building over long spanses, expanses. So, anyways, I'm going to show you a base that I built, and I used the. Uh, rebar and the concrete and then upgraded it to steel for this lower level here. Now I'm going to go into, uh, let's see, debug mode and I'm also going to change the time so we have better lighting and I'm going to fly over these spikes because otherwise I might get killed by the spikes, right? Uh-oh, I am getting killed by the spikes. Uh. Okay, so I didn't get all of these upgraded to the steel, but most of them. Um, it's hard to reach them with the spikes in the way. Let me heal myself again. Okay, I'm going to show you <clears throat> this base that I built. Okay, there's lots of spikes down here, but I have these massive, massive steel beams holding the whole mass up. And the idea being that, uh, well, let me come over here and show you. This is this is the entrance. There's another entrance on the other side. So you come up here and this is the the fighting platform. So during a horde, I would stand over here, maybe here. I would probably stand here. The zombies would come, they would walk past those big columns, those massive steel columns, and they would come over here and they would stand on these spikes and I could shoot them. And either the spikes would kill them or I would kill them. <laughs> Alright? That's the idea behind this. Now if you look here, I have the metal trussing because the next floor it needs a really strong um, support 
to hold all the weight of my base up there because that's my living quarters above all that and so I wanted something really strong I actually tried to build that in cobblestone and it collapsed it was a disaster too bad I didn't have it on on camera it was really pretty cool watching it just fall to pieces and now this these iron bars you can shoot through them but they they're not all that strong you see they have a health of uh, 2500 so you have to be careful because the cop spitting will destroy those bars so if I was going to redo this I would probably not make this murder hole so large I would probably maybe make a line of steel along here so that I could stand on uh, and uh, def you know so that I don't fall through if the cop spits and destroys the iron bars okay so let's come back this is the back door I can come uh, over here and um, let's go up into my base now see this is the metal trussing level the whole bottom floor of my base is the metal trussing and then I have a layer of cobblestone because the metal trussing doesn't look so great, right? I wanted a nice cobblestone look for cosmetic purposes. So this is kind of like my little balcony. And I come up and here's my door. I could have upgraded it to the vault door. But I actually like the look of this better. And it opens and closes faster than the vault door. Um, so here I have my workstation, forge, cement mixer, my supplies my bedroll. I have a nice redwood ceiling and redwood floor which is purely cosmetic right and nice cobblestone walls which is cosmetic and then I have my windows which actually you cannot make this uh, in the normal uh, crafting area but you have to use the creative menu to get these particular windows and I used a cobblestone ramp to make it slant this way so that I can look out the corner and see off into the distance that way and uh, let's see what else and this is the front door now if I wanted to I could um, put a ladder and come up here and maybe make a garden or just enjoy the view I didn't do that because I didn't think of it at the time but if I was um, really playing the game I would I would probably have put in, uh, put in I would probably have placed a ladder so that I could come up here and look I mean just look at the view you know fantastic so, um, trying to think, is there anything else to tell you? And then to leave my base, I would come down like this. So, I'd been wanting to try, this is like an experimental build. I hadn't, um, actually built this and tried it on zombies. But I've had it in my mind for some time. Um, I think I'll go and spawn some zombies and give it a test, right? So let's come over here. The uh, F6 brings up the spawning menu. Um, so let's spawn some zombies and I'm going to spawn a screamer several of these other what in the heck you're not supposed to spawn on me you're supposed to spawn where I was pointing <laughs> that was the epic fail have a little food. Uh, 
<laughs> How about they fix the sliding zombies bug? Well, they haven't. Because he he slid. Okay, so I guess they fell down there or something. I'm not sure, but they're down there now. Let's try that again. I think what I'll do is I'll go down to the bottom here. And um, I'll come over here. Have more room. Spawn the screamer. And then I'll spawn another streamer and some of the other ones. What did it do? Put them on my head again? That's just weird. Why is it putting them on my head? Now I got AIDS. would spawn them wherever I was pointing, not on my head. But anyways, I think you kind of get the idea. They will come and then they'll try to get me because I'll be either here or I'll be up in my base. They'll come past those massive steel beams and they will come onto the spikes. Spikes will kill them, and if not, then I will be killing them, because on a horde night, I would be up here shooting down at them. And that is the, the idea, the concept behind this base. So... Now, another thing about the trussing is you can shoot through the trussing as well, so if you wanted to... You could make this whole floor a trussing, but the trussing is not as strong as the steel when it comes to taking hit. It is stronger than these iron bars, but it's it's a little bit more um, cluttered and hard to see through than the bars. You can see through the bars better, which is why I like to use this because I want to be able to see the zombies. But you could. Uh, you could use trussing on this floor to expand. But what I did was I just uh, used um, I put these uh, concrete uh, walkways to help uh, lend strength and of course we got the huge columns which the, f the first floor of these columns is wider than this one you could make this one, and the reason I did that was I made them wider on the bottom to give more support to this level because I didn't use the trussing. Up here the trussing is strong enough to hold over this whole expanse. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it has helped you. If you did, then please give me a thumbs up comment below and don't forget to subscribe and I have seven days to die seven days to
to die, seven days to die, seven days to die, seven days to die.